Good morning. Today we are at the Lemon Tree Market near Guadamar. Good morning everyone. It's Sunday morning and I know the perfect place to check out the Lemon Tree Market in Guadamar. This place is a hidden gem and a lot of people still don't know about it. Most people visit the Zocco Market on Sundays as it's more well known. But if you want a true authentic Spanish experience then this is the market for you. You want to get here nice and early to miss the crowds and the Spanish afternoon heat. It's open from 9am till 2pm. We got there around 10.30. Just as we were leaving around 12.30, it started to get really busy as people were arriving for lunch. The food here smells incredible and it's so cheap and there's plenty of seating areas in the shade. So when you're walking around, feel free to stop off halfway through, have a bite to eat. The food section alone here is huge and there are many different options available, including numerous traditional Spanish dishes and all at a great price. So make sure to come with an empty stomach as it all looks delicious. This place for food looks absolutely delicious. The food is an absolute bargain. There's a huge selection and it's absolutely boiling in here. The ovens are going, they're cooking chickens, they've got paella on the go, There's loads of garlic potatoes. And we asked them how they stay cool in this hot area. It just has a beer. <laughs> So we're just gonna get some churros from here. And if you haven't already tried churros, they're a really nice traditional Spanish treat. If you haven't tried them, you have to. It's like a must-do thing if you come into Spain. Donut, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, they're like a doughy kind of texture, but like deep fried and usually have them with sugar sprinkled over or you can dip them in melted chocolate or something like that. Very nice. If you're not planning on eating here, but need to get your groceries for the week, don't forget to check out the fruit and veg stalls. These are all run by local farmers, ensuring that you get the quality and freshness that you'd expect from locally grown produce. You will always find a bargain on these stalls, especially if you buy the seasonal fruit and veg. And most vendors will give you a little sample. Good, good, good. Aquí estamos saliendo para YouTube, mi amigo y yo también queremos salir. no? It's like a raw potato. <laughs> ah, melón. No melón, melón, pero de invierno. Kohlrabi, Kohlrabi, se llama Kohlrabi. Oh, I like that. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's crossed with a melon. In a soup, it'd be nice. And soup. weed. <laughs> Strange, yeah. but nice. Hola, Millie Moments. <laughs> Millie Moments, weed, Millie, Millie Moments. And of course, there is more than just food on offer, so let's go into the next section. So we've just crossed the road, near the markets over there, then the food section. Now we've come over to another section where there's food, accessories, and clothes, loads of other things. So I'm finding absolutely loads of bargains here, but the way you find them is they're all thrown out all over these tables and you have to have a good rummage through to find a bargain, but you can get absolutely beautiful clothes and some of them even designer clothes for one euro to three euros. So have a good rummage round and find what you like. River Island, three euros. But as I said, you can find some designer clothes here and it's so cheap and it's never been worn, it's all brand new. As you wander around the market, you'll hear bartering between the storeholders and their customers, offering a good discount on the advertised price and it's all part of the experience. So one thing I've noticed is that there are a lot of the same people here today than there were yesterday at Playa Flamenca Saturday market, but the prices are changing. It is a lot cheaper here than Playa Flamenca, and I'm not sure if that's just because there's more locals here rather than tourists, but this is definitely cheaper than the Saturday market at Playa Flamenca. There are a few quirky stalls scattered around, so keep your eyes open so you don't miss them. 
We are having an embroidery in our company and we embroider lots of t-shirts, towels, bibs, everything you like, caps as well. And you can personalize them with whatever you like. Yeah, indeed, you can do a, a name or a logo or whatever, or your own dog, like that one on the, on the back of that jacket. We're uh, here since a few weeks now and uh, we hope to extend our business here. Brilliant. Yeah. So if you need anything personalized with embroidery, this is the place to come. This is the place to come, indeed. <laughs> So that's actually a really good idea. If you're going to a wedding and say you wanted to buy some personalized towels, you bring them here and they can put the bride and groom's names on and stuff like that. So it's a great gift idea. A local market should be on your list of things to do on your summer holiday this year. The experience provides a lovely day out and there's lots of fun to be had with the locals. Just this Stand by me. <laughs> so we've had an absolutely lovely morning walking around the market. It's a perfect way to spend a Sunday morning. This market is absolutely huge. Massive variety of things. You can get clothes, accessories, loads of food. There's a whole food section with cafes, restaurants, and there's another section where you can buy all your veg and your fruit, all fresh and an absolute bargain. I'll leave a link in the description on the map so you know exactly how to find it as it is quite tricky to find. I would definitely recommend coming to this market. This has got to be one of my favorites so far. This has been the friendliest. Everyone has been so welcoming and friendly and even when they see me vlogging, they all want to take part and all want to be really friendly. So yeah, come and check it out and have some fun with the locals. I've visited a few markets now, so make sure to check out my other vlogs. I'll leave all the links in the description and I'm going to see a lot more. And I'm also going to make a list of the best markets to check out in the area. So make sure to hit the notification bell so you get notified when that video comes out. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next Friday. Like and subscribe. Yeah, subscribe and uh, comment. <laughs> subscribe to me, Mealy Moments. <laughs>